Hello and welcome to our dedicated mirror tutorial. In this tutorial I'm gonna edit four images that I got prepared and show you several different techniques how to get the perfect mirrorgram going. We're gonna start off by importing an image as always, check the EXIF data, this one is a good one, and now let's go for a perfect straight facade. And as always for a perfect mirrorgram you need to do some little tweaks, some little minor ones within screw it, some rotation and some lens correction which is crucial just for the lines to align perfectly afterwards. That's it. Add swipe for confirming and open the shot and mirror. Now first thing I want to decide which side I'd like to flip. I got the camera and the bikes here so I'm gonna flip this side. I already got a super cool image just by flipping it. Now I'm gonna drag it so the cameras are kind of pushing to the sides and now we go for some vertical correction. Well as you may notice we got some problems we have to get back to the mirroring filter and now I want this line in the middle of the windows to perfectly align first. I think this already did the trick before and after. And now if I would go for some further um, perspective correction, you see that both sides are getting manipulated individually, but this is not what I want, but I want a straight image. There's an easy solution. There's an icon in the middle, which is the bank icon. I'm gonna push this, it's saving and re-importing. It's like merging all the current status. And now go for again, the vertical correction, here we go. We've did the second stage of straightening. If you now like, you can go for the ratio tool, punch information from the top down, and maybe get rid of some of the floor. And yeah, with the second stage, we completely straighten it out. And now it is a super easy, extremely perfect straight facade done in mirror within seconds. On to the next one. With the following images, we're going to go a little bit more fancy and it's going to explain why this interdependence between mirror and screw is so important. I like this shot here, it's perfect to show you how much it's gonna change in mirror when you rotate your image 45 degrees prior to editing. So simple rotation, screw it, confirm, and now just send it to mirror. And now you end up with a completely new structure. You can also maybe start shooting 45 degree angle shots so you get way more information. But for this purpose, just flip the left side and squeeze it out. I think this is looking, I don't know where, it's looking quite good already. Bank it and now flip the bond to the top. Here we go and I'll squeeze it out. And what you end up with is this look up-ish looking shot with the leaning houses. I really love the result, the circle in the middle. It's super cool. And when you're going to reset it and then start off by a vertical or horizontal flip, you're gonna go for a completely different result bank it, flip it again vertically. And this is like, you see like, by just rotating it 45 degrees, you got so much more in mirror and you got so much creative freedom and that's not it yet. For the next example, we are skipping some editing steps. So this is the original image. I did some color correction. I did the um, screw it perspective correction. I imported it to mirror, flipped the top to the bottom, and then I saved it. But you could have also sent it from mirror immediately to screw it. Just to sum it up, this is the original one and this is the processed one within a color, perspective and mirror app. Here we go, before, after. Now let's import it and show you another super nice 45 degrees result. I bumped into this one while I've been doing some research on what images to show you. So this is the first step, rotate it 45 degrees. Now open it the mirror and simply mirror it again. Two steps, two swipes. You see what we just did? Now this guy is walking around, we got this super nice cross here and it's just always worth it just checking mirror out. Even if you save an image, just send it to mirror, play around with it and maybe you're gonna find a super cool second result which is just gonna blow your mind maybe eventually. But yeah, that's it for this image. Let's go to the next one. The last image that we're going to edit is referring to the workaround section in our Screw It Mirror tutorial. If you have not seen this yet, I'm going to put the link in the description. So if you like, check this one out. I recommend it if you want to learn how to use all the functionalities in our apps. We're going to import this one here and I'd like to go again for 45 degrees rotation. But, you know, I'm, I'm losing left and right. I'm losing information, which I maybe would like have. And especially in this image, I'd like to do something with a circle. So I'm just going to turn off the auto cropping and now go for the 45 degrees rotation. Crank it up to its full volume. Confirm. This is what we've done. And now I don't really have to, but I, I'm doing it so for displaying purposes. So when I'm clicking the bank icon, 
what I get is a new solid white um, through the geometrical form that the images um, limitations borders would have. You get the point. <laughs> so now open it in mirror. Mirror would have done it automatically. This is why I'm just saying. So when you open it in the mirror, you now got a bigger canvas. And now when you just flip it, you can do super cool stuff with it. So zoom in and swipe. Here we go. And when I zoom out, you see, well, we've, just, we've extended the circle. Now when I bank it and I flip it again, we've done this look upish or look down. I don't know, like warp tunnel effect coming, which is extremely nice for London Underground. This has been actually a super nice London Underground station. Thanks, Neil, for showing it to me. And now you can, when you export it, send it back to screw it and benefit from its high precision crop tool. Wait till it's loaded and let's go for it. Here we go. Go for one by one and just do it super, super briefly. You could, you know, you could also just zoom in and be like extremely precise. Swipe up here. Where are you? Here we go. And double tap. Confirm. Here we are. We've just cropped this image and made out of this image that you do not even um, remember. Maybe we alienated it. We did something completely new, creative with it. A super cool new warp effect that you can use whatever. You can place it for a logo. You can publish it on your social medias or you can just have fun with it. Thanks for watching this tutorial again. Hope you enjoyed. This last image went a bit overboard, but I'm a fan of not taking it so seriously. So yeah, hope you tune in the next time. Enjoy, have fun with Screw It and Mirror. Goodbye.